I am one of the last... Oh, heavens. I'm one of the last... Surviving members. Doc needs a sleep person. We are today going to be doing something called bomb defusal. If you didn't catch the first episode, we're playing Demise. And the if somebody has died on the server, then they have to do a trap and prank somebody else by uh, killing them as well. So uh, I'm one of the last ones. X is on, and he's a reaper, but all the gray names, they're, they're, they're already out. Like, they've been a reaper, and they're not a reaper anymore. So, I have to do bomb defusal. It's been a little bit since I've been on, and I know the reapers are doing a thing. First risk, breaking that block. We're safe! Risk two, breaking that block. We're okay. Okay, I'm looking closely at all these chests to see if there's anything snuck behind them. I don't see anything. Maybe something behind this furnace? Nothing looks good. Everything looks legit. Now, some might call this paranoia. You might say, oh, this is this is a, the definition of someone paranoid. That's not me. Look closely also at the buckle on the, uh, the belt of the chest. <laughs> And if you see a little bit of red around it, you know it's a trapped chest. Sure enough, that one's not trapped. Okay, we have a couple places here that could be uh, a risk to us. Namely, these three right here, okay? We've got some pressure plates here. And I'm sure one of the Reapers has come over and put something underneath. Nothing underneath that one. We're safe. Stepping on it. Everything's fine. Nothing explode. Now we have to do this a couple more times. Aha! What do we have here? Oh, is this Cub's trail? This is Cub's trail that he dug. Either way, that's safe. That area is safe. So we can step on these happily, I think. Everything's fine. Good. Last one. And good. Good. Nothing here. Okay. All right, that's comforting. Step on just to check, and fine, good, okay. Any trip wires? I didn't check that pressure plate, but luckily, boy, bad choice to use pressure plates on day one, huh? Huh? For decoration during demise? Not a wise idea. Okay, no trap chests, any observers on barrels. Everything's looking legit so far I'm just gonna break these I'm just gonna break those stone pressure plates okay and we're gonna check under these how are we looking perfectly fine lovely last but not least this pressure plate and it's fine oh good okay okay hey uh, you know what maybe I gave the the hermits not enough credit but there's still a very good chance, you know, they're, they're they're like the Minecraft geniuses. They'll they'll have something that's like, oh, if you walk through this grass, you're gonna explode because some update hub hub bud switch flip flopped. But our chances of winning this demise thing are getting even greater and greater, and people are rumbling and saying that the prize is going to be fantastic. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, myself and a few others uh, aren't aware of what the prize is, but that's okay. I like surprises. We're, we have this nice view as well where we can just look out and see, is anybody coming? Because right now, Beef and Zuma are on, and they are Reapers, and they could come hunt me. But I can literally see them coming from a mile away. Hey, donkey! Hi! Hee-haw! I can see them coming from a mile away. Hopefully. Oh, heavens. I'm scared to death. This is gonna be my scared, scared to death episode. Uh-oh. The numbers are dwindling. Joel is on. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He is a reaper as well, so... Gotta watch out for that. But today I want to catch up with some of the hermits and see how everybody's getting on in the first couple of weeks. I also need to start on level two of the progression. I need to start building up some resources, getting lots of wood. Enough to where I don't have to chop wood every time I need it. And get that built up. And I've got some plans. 
I'm kind of working on like a idea for a tree. I've really studied trees a lot and how they grow in a realistic way, and I wanna I wanna try to implement that a little bit. I just had a brilliant idea. I, I was chopping trees and then all of a sudden it hit me. I have a couple things going for me. I have the the distance, you know, I'm kind of far away. I'm also likable, you know, so people don't want to trap me and stuff because they like me, but that that's not impenetrable. I do know my strongest, my area of strength, social dynamics to any reaper that wants to kill me. Here, I will do a social dynamic for them to save my life. To any reaper that wants to kill me, if you let me live, I will reward you with a share of the prize. I can't say exactly what it is because I don't know exactly what the prize is, but I'll split it. I'll split it with whoever signs their name here or if it's, I don't know. I, I, I'll find some way to make them make it worth their while to where they're happy. Uh, put your name below if you consent. If you consent to this, put your name here and I will remember that you have spared me. Now this, this is how beat up does it, baby. It should be, let me put a lot of um, lights here. Wells is getting attacked by Jevin right now, it seems like. Nice try, Jev. Um, I think Suzuma was trying to get him as well. Ooh, well slept before me. What a fast guy. Uh, to any... Yeah, so this is it. This is a wonderful idea. I think it'll really catch people's attention. And hopefully we get some names on this list. And if we get all the red names on the list, we got Beef, Jevin, uh, Joel on here, then they're in, you know? And then they won't trap us. They're like, ooh, this sounds appetizing. They, they, had, they thought they had no chance at the prize. But now I give them a chance at somehow being, you know, rewarded for allowing me to survive and get the prize. I think this is a smart move by B-dubs. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. B-dubs. Oh, that freaked me. I had a jump scare. You don't expect to hear sounds. Piston sounds when you're when you're doing a furnace. Oof. Okay, I did not know something's connected to this furnace. All right, let's be careful. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's dark as well. Oh. Somebody did this. They made a floor trap. There it is. There it is right there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh we survived. That's the first, I think, is that the first actual trap? No, Cub tried to get us. But that's a trap trap. Okay. I think, all right, this furnace is off limits now. Okay. Um... We're decommissioning this furnace, and... Okay, that goes back. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that. Uh, I don't know. There was some coal in there. I'm going to leave that, because if someone feels like, oh, he discovered my trap, they'll do something again. So maybe, maybe we just leave it. Whoever did that. Oh, boy. Hey. Hey. I have a secret to tell you. For Valentine's Day, I bought my wife. We already have a pair of Raycons. She wears them all the time. She listens to podcasts all day long, wears them all day. But I got her, she wanted rose gold ones. And I got her these rose gold ones for Valentine's Day. They're not super expensive. They're, they're half the price of like, all the other premium brands, but they're a great symbol of love. Because just like love, you have to be able uh, to change and adapt to your partner. And they come with these custom gel tips that can change and adapt to the size of your ears. It is a symbol of love. You know, love has to be 
long lasting. And the Raycons come with a long lasting battery life of eight hours of playtime and did like 32 full, full, you know, idle hours. I always really struggle with Valentine's Day. It's a d difficult, for some reason, I have a hard time giving gifts, but this time I think I've got it. So if you're like me and you have a hard time thinking of a gift to give your loved one, there's a lot of different colors to choose from. So pick out a nice pair of Raycons for them and tell them the things I said about the symbols of love. They're gonna love it. So check out the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash bdubs to get 15% off your purchase and free shipping. You know I can hear you, right? You've lost your horse. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hello there, bdubs. Oh, that's fantastic! Yeah, Tango brought that over for me. It was very nice of him. Honk, honk. Yay! I have bad news. Yes? I lost that beautiful horse you gave me. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> so I put it in the hole. It was in the hole. It was in the hole, and now it's gone? But see, the reason I'm over here is I'm on the case. You're on the. You're looking for it. I'm looking for it. I accidentally uh, grabbed a cow and thought it was your horse and started bringing it over. <laughs> Similar markings, you know. Do you know how many times I've seen those cows out in that field and we was like, "There nameless. he is, <laughs> nameless. You're back. You're back." No, you're a cow. You you've got enormous udders. I'm gonna go. Don't take your hat off. We're not mourning I'm yet. I'm hand. No. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm going to find this horse. I have a loophole with Demise. Okay. Oh, what's that? Reapers can only take out alive members through traps. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I, I, I blew Iskel up with the Ender Stars. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Which is a, is a sort of trap, you know. Yeah, it's like wounding a, a, a deer in the woods and then yep. having to just finish it off with a stick is how I basically finished off Iskel. Right. No law against beat ups paying Scar uh, a lifetime of whatever he wants, a lifetime of moss in exchange oh. for killing false right now with his sword and bow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fury. Yes, yeah. the fury that would come I, I would feel the fury yeah all the way across the pond as they say yeah me too me too not worth it not worth it <gasps> here comes cub wow, look at this guy showing off wowie wow wow dude yes you're still alive i'm still, still alive. alive you tried Let's to kill go. me with fire rockets no no i was gonna i was gonna <laughs> shoot you but i have no arrows on me apparently <laughs> no a couple days ago tried to uh, beat ups Chat's There's Ethos! Hey, oh! Hey, oh! Hey, oh! Look, look how low my horse jumps. Isn't it incredible? Ooh. Definitely not my horse. You, you know, it's hard to tell where the horse starts and Etho ends, you know? <laughs> B-Dubs, did I hear, hear you and Corrales are getting together to make, like, a horse breeding thing? Or Absolutely not. Other? Absolutely not. He's a thief. No? He's a thief. I'm the horse ah. breeder on this server, and he's taken it. And I'm at war with him. I just now declare, oh, no. I declare war against Corrales, horse, uh, horse. What's the word for fake? Like, um. Incoming, incoming. He's got a parrot on his shoulder. B-dubs, we're gonna um, protect you. I'll face him, head on. Oh my God, he's coming in on a donkey. Okay, this is no threat. We should be fine. He'll be here in an hour. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. So I'm, I'm sorry that took so long. Goodness this, sakes. <laughs> this thing's quite slow. We've been waiting. Please be introduced to uh, Mr. Skizzlebeans. That's adorable. He, he sits very yes. nicely on your shoulder. Anyway, gents, that's it. I just wanted to show off my new baby. We'll see you on uh, stream weekend tomorrow. All right, Ren. See ya. All right. Bye, guys. He didn't kill you, but I I, I I wouldn't trust him. It was crazy to see how brave I was during that whole thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You did really well. Yeah. I was close to him. I was standing still. I gave him plenty of opportunity. And 
I was pretty fearless, as you could see. I'd be more worried about that horse dying than anything. If he kills this horse, I'll kill him every day he logs onto the server. If anybody kills this horse, they'll die every day. They'll die a thousand <laughs> deaths. Can I see your place, Etho? Yes, yes. Yes? We'll be expanding on it very soon. We gotta do gym parkour here. Oh, is this the horse way? Parkour. Horse parkour right here. Oh, shoot. Are you yeah, jumping? Tough. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta jump it. No! <laughs> I haven't started yet. I haven't I started. I can't do it. I keep failing it. I think you could you could clear a couple here for sure. I might be able to. Oh, that's bad. Oh, oh man. No. <laughs> Dang it. Dude, that's all hard. Horse course practice it hasn't helped us at all. Beat Not us. at all. No, that section, you know, the drip leaf section. I don't think I made it across yet once. I love this area. Got the pink tree. Yeah. Do you have any reason to come up here often? Well, this will be a nice pass through. Not to, yet, to but other... I'm gonna be expanding, I think. Yeah, that's good. Wait, do you hear that? Is that Cub? It's- Oh, I think Cub's after you. It could be Hypno. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're coming, beat up. They're coming. It could be Hypno. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look out. Oh, they got villagers too. Oh, that's a wither. That's a wither head. That's uh, a wither head. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, that that had me. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep, go right. keep looking for Scar's horse. Uh, okay. I I don't know. I don't know. Just, just if you see one. If you're ever bored or lonely on the server, B Dubs, come hit me up. Oh you yes. Know. Okay. Thank you. Go, cow. Come on, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Surprise! There he is. I I found your horse. You did. Yes. Were you the one that left it uh, on top of my train? No. I just found it just now. It's under you. <laughs> well, you know, according to impulse. Yeah. He found it slash took it, and I couldn't get an exact oh. uh, couldn't get an exact word on that on what what he did with it. Okay, okay, it was a mix up. And do you think that bee up there is a trap? Yeah. Jim, oh, you think geez. that's a trap? What? Hey, Jim, careful, tiptoe. Goodness sakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking beat ups. You, you seem safe. It, it seems safe in here. Okay. Is this a very important um, uh, chicken? No, do the thing you do where you kill. You know, pets. I'm of not people. gonna kill it. Go ahead. Anything. No, kill it. I don't like it. I don't want it. I'm just curious. I was just curious. He was so. Oh! Like... Poor guy. Is this game almost over? This man's gonna. Be... This poor man's gonna be paranoid. I'll be fine. Uh... Scum! <laughs> I'm erasing your name, period. Darn it. I'm out. I'm out. Oh. Anyway, oh, I dude, it too far. let's go. Let's go put you next to Mumbo for a second. Yeah, It'd I don't mind. Funny. I'm not scared. It'd be funny. Hello. Hi, Mumbo. Hey, Mumbo. Hey, Mumbo. Hey, 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 hey. Cub, How's it going? Cub was lying. Cub was lying. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you best watch out, mate, because I've got a hole right here. No, you don't. No, no, no. No, I'm just coming by to see my fellow Mounder friend. That's all. Uh, it is good to see you. It is good to see you. I do feel like I should have some form of trap set up or something, but... Uh, if he stands what under here, Mumbo, would something happen? <laughs> is this a trap? Uh, I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish that base did anything. It's just a decoration. I can't even get in it. No, Mumbo, I, I did want to say, I do have a sign over by my place. This is if any Reapers would like to uh, omit themselves from a threat from me, you mm -hmm. know, like decide not to kill me, and they put their name on the sign, I will include them in uh, uh, my prize, whatever prize I get. They'll get something, get uh, uh, reward them. So you want to go seems, sign up, Mumbo? That sounds risky. I don't. I'm not sure. I think. I think. Look, I think. To be honest with you, beat up. Just looking at your little eyes. Yeah. I think you'd be quite easy to trap. Yeah, right, <laughs> dude. I've I've dodged three traps. <laughs> Simple. I mean, look. dodged three traps. That's true. Yes. Yeah, but that's fine. I think I could. I think I could design a pretty good trap. 
No, and I would. I might start so, working on that. I would outsmart so can we it. Count on you to sign the uh, the document, Mumbo. I'm assuming not, judging by what I just said. Apparently not. No. Apparently not. Okay. <laughs> it's really sad. It's really right. sad. It sounds like it's thought out already. Actually. What if you? Uh, what if you sign I'm, it? I'm and worried for you. That no, would be cool. No. I mean, that would be cool, but I. But I'm. I'm not that evil. Like I'll be oh, marginally evil, dang. but I'm not that evil. <laughs> you know what? This is unfortunate. This is slightly like disconcerting, by the way. All you guys just like storming in. I just and, wanted uh, to show my bravery, down. mainly. Yeah. That I'm brave and not scared. We you're hoping you're gonna make a play fishes. on his life. Hey, <laughs> you're not scared though. No, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs>
So I'm happy with it. It gives kind of that brownish. I need to make that a... I don't like when those things are... Now that we have the option to make the all wood bark one. Uh, problem. I'm building this thing. And I'm working on these shapes. Oh, and by the way, this one, I know. The first branch that I build is a weak branch. But this there are exceptions. I have some trees that, you know, the exception where it does work in a 45 degree angle. And exceptions are fun to look at. So that's why I did it. Right, the danger. The danger, I, f I fell. I fell, like, when I was making this, and I, I thought, oh, no, wait a second. Now, I do have my Feather Falling 4 boots, which is fantastic, but still, we're going much higher. You can kind of get the, si the feel of the size, and this feels kind of big, but I still like, the f I like it. I think it's good. Uh, but we're going to go much higher, and I'm very nervous because I think I might die. So, oh, the, the, this, I don't have elytra. I, maybe I'll survive it. I can maybe do the math. But I'm thinking of flooding this whole area. If I go like this, and I put this here, I'm going to be sad that it makes all the grass go away. But yeah, look at that. That's not good. That's not a good job flooding. What if I go like this? I'm just thinking if I can flood the whole area, then maybe it'll be safe. But chances are, yeah, look how far this this not flow well. I could fall right here and then gonk. Okay, well, I don't know. I'll have to think of a solution. Either way, this is dangerous. I forgot about that. I think, oh, I don't want to use any crazy materials or anything because it's early in the season. D don't build anything super tall either, especially when your life is so valuable. One, two, three, and jump! Oh, we got this easy, easy, easy! Okay, tree done, tree built. Did I hear a crunching? What was that crunching? I heard a crunch just now. This is precisely why I didn't want to do the safety thing, but I did do some math, b Dubs did some math, and I would have been safe. I would have, I think I would have made the fall uh, from that height. But it's still not a not a fun risk to take. All right, I got most of the water. I'll get it. I'll drain it all later. Okay. Oh yeah, that that's looking nice. I like that. That's gonna be cool. It's a good, kind of a nice uh, big frame for our house as well, for our little house. I kind of pur pur purposely built the branch up like that so it framed the house a little bit. But. I think that's looking pretty cool. Trees, you know, once they get further out, then it's branch, 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 lots of branches, so the fences are supposed to resemble that. Leaves soon. Soon leaves. Uh, that, and, then, and then some of it, you know, there's some kind of messy stuff that'll get covered up by the leaves eventually. But, you know, in the winter, when you see a tree all by itself, it looks a little funny as well. So don't laugh at it. It'll be embarrassed. But walking up to it and under it, I think this feels... Like, I wanted it to feel like a big, grand... Ooh, we gotta fill a block in there. A grand, big, old, old tree. Old oak tree or something. Something humongous. And it's got that feel. I don't... You know, I'll do some other ones that are a little more normal size. But this... I think I think we nailed it. Yeah, that's a beauty. Trust the process a little bit. I mean, right now it looks cool. It does look cool, but I, it'll look way better once we get leaves on it. It might look worse. We Maybe we don't put leaves on it. What do you guys think? Uh, ouch! I gotta go check something. Our partner in crime with the cyberpunk uh, dystopian city build is... Has been busy. Is has. Is has been busy. I love seeing this. Chorus. That's for, oh, I know what that's for. That's for one of the most important decorations with cyberpunk, end rods. Man, Impulse is going crazy. But this, look at this build he made. How cool is that? That's the first, the first of many in this area. I think he's even mapped it out a little bit better so you can see this line. And then it goes from there 
all the way down and it goes down quite a ways that way. So we've got a lot of space to fill in here. And trust me, trust the process. This isn't going to be just be a pretty build. Okay. This is going to be a, a really fun interactive thing. So I'm excited for it. And I think next episode, we're going to start building in here. Look at what Tango did, by the way. Look at that beauty. He made a steampunk house. What a builder, huh? Couple of couple of redstoners out here uh, acting acting like they're builders. It was trying to take my throne. I'm so proud of him. It looks fantastic. But we're going to start building in this area. I think next episode, as well as some other stuff over at our base. For step one in working on the landscape, and I mean, we're, hello, I'm backwards. I'm back. I'm back here now. What in the? I've always built structures, and I want to focus. Uh, a little bit on terrain and, and nature and stuff and more organic stuff. And I think that'll be fun. We'll just, you know, some of it won't even have a purpose. What, that tree? It's not a slime farm? What's wrong with you? Nope, it's just a tree. Just doing some painting. Oh, and look at it from real far away. Oh, it looks good. It looks real. It looks like a real huge one with some jogs back and forth and stuff. I made a good tree. But I think it is safe to say... Even though we didn't get any sign-ups, spell consent rights, fixed it. We didn't get any sign-ups. We're surviving another another day, another episode. Whew! It's down to just three of us. False, myself, and XB. We're the last survivors, and there's a lot of hunters out there. This whole place, I mean, I just left for a second. It could have been trapped in that time. Who knows? But anyway, oh, don't trap the tree, please. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys to death, and we'll see you in the next episode!